I thought it was time that somebody attempted a book about Tom Waits that really scratched beneath the surface. You know, I thought there's thousands of books about Bob Dylan um, and only two or three about Tom Waits. I think he's a major American artist, one of the major artists of the 20th and early 21st centuries. And I, I wanted to try and create a more fleshed out portrait of, of this man. Um, Part of the challenge with Waits is that he's always projected a persona that he's hidden behind. And so to try and sort out the real Tom Waits from the Tom Waits that we all know and love um, seemed an interesting project. Um, I managed to get to a fair number of people who would talk about Waits and there were a number that wouldn't. Um, he didn't make life easy for me. Um, but then I wouldn't have expected him to, and I would never have done an authorised book with Waits anyway, because I don't believe in authorised biographies. Um, I think I got to enough people who had interesting things to say about Waits' journey and the kind of man he is. Uh, I think there's a lot of new stuff there for any Waits fan to learn. Um, and I've tried to write about the music and the evolution of uh, Waits's music in a way that I think is fresh and it is a life in two acts. Um, there's the, 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 the weights of the seventies, the, the inebriated jazz bow kind of beatnik figure at the piano. Um, and then there's the weights that we know from the last 25 years, the, the, uh, wild old man of Americana, the eccentric maverick figure, um, who hides out in Northern California and makes extraordinary records about strange goings on in the back of beyond and murder in the red barn and what's he building in there um anyway uh i hope that for any um serious weights fan or anyone who's remotely interested in him that, that this book will um open up things that you hadn't seen or known before